In this second video on verbals, we're going to talk about the two remaining verbals, gerunds and infinitives. A gerund is an ing form of a verb which functions as a noun, while an infinitive is a simple form of a verb which is almost always preceded by the preposition to, to jump, to wonder, to be, and it, an infinitive can function either as a noun or as an adjective. A gerunds and infinitives are fun and different in that you have to build these little platforms for them. In this case we're going to have a gerund that's functioning as a noun and we build a little podium and then we put a little staircase on top of that and we have our gerund falling down the staircase. And in many examples like the one we're going to do the gerund can have an object. So let's take the sentence, eating vegetables is good for everyone. Our main verb is the linking verb is be verb. And we ask ourselves, what is? Well, we wouldn't say vegetables is. We might say vegetables are, but in this sentence, you can say eating is. Eating looks like a verb. It's an ing form, and it is our first gerund. So eating is our subject. Now, or the word vegetable is also being functioning as a noun, and it is the object of our gerund. And it will sit up on the platform with the gerund. We have one more noun, which is everyone. And that is an object of the preposition for. Our subject complement, in this case, is a predicate adjective. Good. And as we mentioned a moment ago, we have the preposition for. So let's go ahead and diagram it now. We have our baseline and our bisecting line, which separates our subject, which in this case is going to be our gerund, from our verb. Since we have a predicate adjective, which is a subject complement, we're going to use the little slanted line after the verb to show that it refers back to the subject. It's modifying the subject just like any other adjective. We'll put our prepositional phrase underneath uh, the verb is because it's functioning adverbally. Is for everyone. And here we build our little platform. On top of the platform for a gerund we build a little staircase. Or what looks like a staircase. And now we're ready to start filling it in. Our gerund, first word in the sentence, we'll capitalize it, is eating. And we put it on there like it's falling down the staircase. The object of our gerund is vegetables. We're eating what? Vegetables. Our verb is is. Our subject complement, in this case, is a predicate adjective, good. We're saying eating is good. And we have a prepositional phrase which is functioning adverbally, in other words, it's modifying the verb, for everyone. Now, infinitives. The infinitive, again, can function either as an adjective or as a noun. If it functions as an adjective, it'll pl be placed under a noun. If it's functioning as an adverb, it'll be placed under an adverb, and it looks very much like a prepositional phrase. This will be our infinitive. So let's take the sentence, My Uncle Jeb 
has a license to hunt. You'll notice that there is a word that looks like a verb, which is preceded by the word to, and that is going to be our infinitive, to hunt. Our main verb is a form of the verb to have, or has in this case. It's a transitive verb because we will have a, an object, license. Now for our subject, we ask who or what has, and my uncle has. So that's our subject. It looks like we have two subjects here. The Jeb is actually functioning as an A-positive, an essential A-positive, and essential A-positives don't separate them from the subject with commas. Our verb license is our, going to be our direct object, and hunt is going to be the object of the preposition to, which is really an infinitive. And we have another adjective, my, whose uncle, my uncle. Let's go ahead and diagram it. We have our baseline, as always, and our bisecting lines, separating our subject from our verb. Our subject is uncle. Our A positive, essential A positive, is Jeb. Our verb is has. It's a transitive verb, transiting from the subject to the direct object. And our direct object is license. What does Uncle Jeb have? He has a license. So let's go ahead and put in our infinitive, which is to hunt. To is the is a preposition. Hunt is the object of that preposition. Which uncle? We're modifying uncle with an adjective, my, capitalized because it's the first word in the sentence. And we have a license. Okay, now let's look at an infinitive, which is being used as a noun. Again, we're going to have one of these fun little platforms. But in this case, instead of a stair step, you'll notice that we, it looks more like a, um, what we would have for a prepositional phrase. So let's take the sentence, Duke's ambition was to run for office. See, to run, that's going to be our infinitive. We have a linking verb, past tense of the verb to be, was. And we ask ourselves, what was? Well, ambition was. And our subject complement, in this case, is to run. An infinitive. And to run for what? To run for office. Now we're not running for, or Jeb is not running for a brick and mortar office, he's running for a political office. So we call that a concept. And the action of running for office is also a concept. Our infinitive is functioning as a noun. And we have an adjective, a possessive noun, Remember, possessive nouns and possessive pronouns most often will function as adjectives unless they stand by themselves. So, what kind of, whose ambition was it? It's Duke's ambition. Okay, we'll diagram this. We have our baseline, we have our bisecting line. And since we have a linking verb, we're going to have a subject complement. A predicate nominative, in other words, a noun that uh, is in the predicate, comes after the verb. So we build a little platform here, and instead of a stair step, we draw something that looks more like what we would draw for a prepositional phrase, except it's standing on top of this podium. And for office is going to be 
modifying is going to be modifying our infinitive to run. Run for what? Run for office. So let's go ahead and fill in our diagram here. Our subject, as we said, is ambition. Our verb is the linking verb. Okay, who's ambition? Duke's ambition. Our verb is was. And now we'll fill in our little platform on the podium. Our infinitive is to run, made up of the preposition to. And what would normally be a verb, but in this case, because it's part of the preposition, it's a noun, to run. Our prepositional phrase is functioning as an adjective. To run for office.